Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get unready with me. I'll be taking off my makeup and we'll chat a little bit, but mostly I'll be taking off my makeup. This video features my face halo, which is like one of my all time favorite things. And it is not sponsored. I purchased these with my own money and I use them on a daily basis every single day and so if you'd like to see how I take my makeup off at the end of the day and what products I use afterwards then just keep watching. I'm gonna get my hair out of my face. I don't even have to tie it back. So this is my face halo. This is what I use to take off my makeup. Typically on most days I would be able to use just one of these to take off all of my makeup but I did wet another one just in case this is bright and colorful and sparkly and dark with eyeliner, you never know. So I did wet both of these. My process for these is basically the same as a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. I just run it under the faucet and I squeeze it while the water is running and then I squeeze it out when I'm done and then I pop it on my face. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off my fake lashes. I don't really have a revolutionary process for this. I just kind of pull them off. And I don't really have a problem with my lashes getting in the way. Just be gentle. It doesn't take much. So you want your face halo to be pretty damp because the water does help disintegrate the makeup. So I am probably going to go for my eye makeup first and then we're going to take off our face makeup. And this is completely clean. As I said, it's just water. Oh, and I'm going to start a timer because I want to time myself on how long this takes. So what I do is I just kind of like set the pad on and I wiggle it around. And there goes all my eye makeup. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the same side of the pad, the other eye. And you just kind of wiggle it around. I'm not pushing hard. You don't have to push hard. And there goes my other eye. Look it. And then what I like to do is I just kind of bend it over like this. And I like to just make sure I get under the eye. We got a lot going on on the side of the eye. my eyebrow there you go and then I'm gonna use the other side for my face Alright guys, so I don't think I need to use another one. It has been three and a half minutes and I took off all my makeup. Now what I like to do is take a micellar water. I use the simple micellar cleansing water. I like this one. I think it does a nice job of taking any extra off. And then I use a cotton round. I believe I got these off of Amazon and they have like a little textured side to them. And you can actually take the little side off if you don't like that, but I like it. I think it helps exfoliate a little bit. So I just put some micellar water on a cotton round. And with the textured side, I like to go around 
make sure you get in the hairline and the ears and this is very gentle so I do use it on my eyes so there's a little bit left but that's really not much considering how much makeup I had on under my chin was obviously very dirty so I usually just use maybe two or three of these and go in and get as much dirt as I can off of my face okay guys so that's how I take my makeup off it took almost seven minutes for me to take off all of that makeup an entire full face of makeup with a very glam eye and that is what I do at night to take off my makeup I think that these face halos are just amazing when you purchase these on the face halo website which I will link below they are $22 for a pack of three and if you get three right now you can get 20% off So there is the code there and you can see $22 on the bottom So if you bought three packs $62 20% off It'd be $50 for nine face halos each one of these face halos lasts me about five or six months and that's because I rotate. I have about four at a time that I rotate in between so I'm not necessarily using each one every day and then that way I don't have to clean them every day. Uh, if you have a washing machine in your place, which I do not, you can just throw these in the washing machine and they get clean. Um, I personally have to wash them in my sink. I use a bar of soap and I will link the video below where I clean them. I think that these face halos are so environmentally friendly and I think that they are definitely a great replacement if you use a lot of face wipes. You can even, if you have stuff on your hand, you can even get off, you know, your makeup on your hand and all that. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money on your face wipes every month, I highly suggest a face halo. I think it has really changed the way my skin is because it just uses water. There aren't any harsh chemicals on my skin that's drying me out. When I get dry, I get really oily. And then when I get really oily, I break out a lot. So I try to keep my face as hydrated as possible without going too overboard. But I have noticed that when I've started to use the face halos that my skin is a lot softer. It is not dry. And I think it's a really nice exfoliator. They're very soft, but they're also, you know, can get the dead skin off too. So once my face is dry, after I use the face halo, I go in with my medicated acne cream. I use the Image Skincare Clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion. And I get this from my esthetician. And I love this stuff. It does not dry me out. It helps prevent my acne. And I don't necessarily have to uh, spot conceal with this. I can put it in my t-zone area and I wake up in the morning and my skin is so soft it is like a lotion it has a moisturizer in it I do kind of put it on thick it does sink into the skin pretty well and then I go in with my Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream I've been using this stuff since the beginning of the year I think it's really nice it hydrates my under eyes it doesn't um, make them water. I've tried a lot of eye creams that make my eyes water and it doesn't really bother me. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's like pinching my skin or whatever so it's like you know working like the collagen is working but this stuff is really nice. You get a little bit of a tingle but it's not like 
again, it doesn't make my eyes water. And then, not every day, but if I feel like my, you know, outside of my face is getting kind of dry, which it does tend to get dry on the outside, I love to use my Lancome Energy De Vie Nuit. It's the Overnight Recovery Sleeping Mask. And it has like a milky kind of texture. It smells like flowers. It has the most amazing scent. I don't use a lot. I usually just put it on my cheeks and on the outside of my forehead and down my neck. And this doesn't break me out. I wake up and I have the most plump, smooth skin. My pores are a lot smaller than when I went to bed and I absolutely love this product. Well I hope you guys had fun getting unready with me. If you did please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let me know below what you use to cleanse your face. Would you ever try the face halo and give up your cleanser? You can always use the face halo like a makeup wipe to take off your makeup and then use a cleanser afterwards but I really find that I don't have a need for it. So would you ever try that or is that out of your comfort zone? Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. You know, I paid for this with my own. Excuse me, Mr. Bug. You need to get out of my face. Kind of, hello? What the hell's in my nose? Glue. And...